And what we found most exciting was this idea of, of smart buildings and, in, and smart people inside of them. All of you are also very smart, but we don't have the data. And so we started looking at the opportunity um, of finding that buildings, you know, responsible for 40% of our energy usage and that 30% of our energy usage in, in, in buildings is wasted. It's unnecessarily used. It's, it's excess. So every building is about 30% overweight, according to the EPA. So we thought, oh my God, this is a huge opportunity. There's so many buildings across the U.S. and then they're building like crazy in India and China. This is the area that we want to develop our uh, technology in. And so we started talking to guys like this, the facilities teams. And I tried to get a picture of the facility manager here, but you know he's not online. He's not on the website um, for this building. But spending time uh, learning what are the issues that facility managers face in, in managing the building and, and understanding what are their biggest challenges. And so in talking to them, you know, things that we found is that there's a lot of data points in, building and, in buildings, and it's really hard to manage all these different systems, um, you know, and access all of this data. And it's not real time, and, and it's really difficult to figure out how to share that data because now the sustainability teams, you guys know who they are, are asking for this data. And, um, and then people in the buildings are asking for the data. And there's all these proprietary systems that don't talk to each other, and it's really difficult to get them to all come together. So this is what we were hearing from facilities teams as we were building the product. And so um, we realized that if you're going to, you know, looking at this challenge, if you're going to tackle a big problem, you can't use the thinking of, of the past to create a new solution. You need new thinking um, to, to do that.